I would suggest that we, we could start also with the first wine. Because yeah, it's sure. it's getting warmer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I, I opened yes. this wine actually in just after the coffee. So the brand. Okay. That's, and okay. that's kind of your signature cover, right? Yes. Well, um, as I told you, uh, we've been... Um, We've been organic for 30 years now, but 15 years ago, we, uh, I'm sorry, because it's quite sunny. I don't know if you yeah. can see me. We started uh, 15 years ago producing the, well, Puff Fiesta. <laughs> but it's also <laughs> just about the closure because it was, uh, yes. I never seen no. that closure before. Can you this tell was, us about the reason? Yes, um, this is how, how the cava was made. Uh, before uh -huh. we use the the crown cup, I'm gonna show you. Please. Wow, such a beautiful color. Now for for making the the second fermentation in the bottle, we use this, okay, mm -hmm. like this, no? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But in the past, it was made, and and some of our cavas made the second fermentation with this uh -huh. okay. okay and well though so 15 years ago we started producing the first cava in spain without sulfites and and this was the first one and um, it's 100 percent panza blanca because we haven't talked about our mm -hmm. grapes panza yeah. blanca for us is is the charelu in the panades region and it's one of the most important great varieties that we have and it's how this cava has been made for the last uh, 15 um, years and um, we are we are located in a national park okay that's why we can be here because it's mm -hmm. a protected area imagine being so close uh, to a big city, it wouldn't be possible to have a wine region. Yeah. Even if it's really small, uh, it wouldn't be possible. And we wanted to to make like a present to all the birds of the national park. And we create this uh, winery um, that it's called Salle de las Aus, that it's the winery of the birds. And each bird or each winery, I, each uh, wine uh, goes under the name of one of our uh, birds. Mm -hmm. This is the Bruan. Yes, it's organic without sulfites. It's a second fermentation in, in the bottle. It has a lot of aromas of the panza blanca, no? Um, green apple, pear. Yeah, but also some green almonds. Fennel. So, mm -hmm. Some? Some green almonds. Green almonds. Oh, yeah, it's very so characteristic it of the very characteristic of the panza blanca also. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and also some, uh, I think it's very flowery, to be honest. So it has some kind of daffodil kind of notes, almost like a yes. cake, kind of very, very delicate, I would say. Mm. Wow. I think every morning should have, should have started like this since the quarantine has been. <laughs> yeah. Wow, beautiful. It should, so it how should. long was the lease aging on this one? In this bottle, um, we, we place every um, degorgement date in each bottle. Uh -huh. Okay, so this is vintage 2019. Yeah. Um, in this case, as, as it's a uh, natural color, like without sulfites, we uh, bottle it um, just, uh, um, just before the first fermentation is over. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's a little bit different as as cava. So this was bottled uh, in October or November of, of 19, and it was the gorge in December. Uh, December. Mine is December uh, 12, I 20. So uh, those are 13, 14 months, 14, mm -hmm. 14 months. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you, you also, because it's under the DOIA or it's not no 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 this is cava this is cava then okay yes and, uh, under the DOIA you can yes. only bottle steel vines no no you can make some some sparkling but you cannot make in 
two different appellations in the same winery. Like you can make two different appellations in the same winery because it's the the region here um, it's permitted, yeah. but you cannot make two sparklings of different appellations. Okay. So, for so example, I can make I can make still wines of Alta Le of Alea and yeah. Cava of Cava, but I cannot make Cava and then sparkling of Alea. For example, under uh, under the name of Alta Alea, you could produce in theory uh, sparkling wine. So under Dio Alea. Alta Alea is the name of the winery. Yeah, but Alea is also yes. the Dio. So under the Alea, Dio, it's the Dio. Under Dio, you can produce uh, sparkling. sparkling if you uh -huh. want. Okay. Yes. And uh, with uh, other, with another characteristic. And how is the other characteristic? So that's what maybe would be the difference because for Cava, for example, I think nine months is the, the minimum. The minimum, right? Now the now the if you want, I can explain you the new regulation of Cava because it just uh -huh. changed. This vintage is gonna be different. Okay. Um, now the cava, the minimum aging, it's gonna be nine months. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then um, after uh, it's gonna be eighteen months for Grand Reserva. For Grand I Reserva. for Reserva, sorry for okay. Reserva. Yeah. So nine months, it's like a young cava. Mm -hmm. So the minimum aging in the bottle, and after you will move to uh, eighteen months. Eighteen months, it's gonna be be Reserva, 30 months Grand Reserva, 36 months Cava da Paraja, the, there are just 10 and we have uh, one of uh, one paraje, it's like okay. one single vineyard. Okay. Um, and from 18 to 30 and 36, it's going to have to be organic. So really good. So A really good thing. From Reserva level, it has to be organic? From Reserva level, it's going to be it's gonna have to be uh -huh. um, organic. organic in 2021 oh. vintage. Nice, good to hear. Very is interesting. It, is it officially? Uh, it's official, yeah. Good? It's official. Nice. Wow. Yeah, nice. yeah, yeah, it's official. It's really nice. It's a really nice thing. Also, they have developed um, well, the, the problem with the Appellation Cava, it, it has always been the origin, okay? We have never talked about, or we have never been able to talk um, about the origin, and now this is going to change because we have made uh, some zones and subzones, and mm -hmm. you're going to be able to lab label this on your bottle, so the consumer is going to be able to know where it comes from, and also, and something very very important is that they have developed a zone for Alea. Uh -huh. That's going to be Serra da Mar, that means um, the sea, mount, small mountains or something like that. And, and, and it's really important for us because we are really small, but we will have this, this um, soup appellation and, and that gives us a lot of, of energy and, and power. Mm -hmm. and so this, you're uh, going to hear about this. The, I'm sure. Uh, this para, Paraje Calificada, that's what you said? Yes. And this, this is kind of the single vineyard uh, kind of concept, like a single yes. parcel with distinctive characteristics. The, the Paraje Calificado uh, just came out four, five years ago, uh -huh. um, before the, mm -hmm. the subzones thing. And yeah, it was to, to also to what was trying the Appellation Cava, and I think that they are uh, improving really well in this, in this sense is to like to talk about the origin no? that it's really important and also to to put the the cava in the place that it belongs because at the end it's uh, made with a traditional method and it's a really long process and and i think that uh, it belongs to another place you know yeah. and and they found this like 10 different uh, parajes that like Pagos or single vineyards all over Spain, and we were really, really lucky and to to have one of them, no. And how they decide this, no? Why why we were lucky to, and because they they wanted to found like unique places or unique vineyards, okay, and um, that have a little bit of story producing top cavas with good recognitions. 
and also you have to follow like less less yield and um, more aging um, mm. the like you know uh, the years of the vineyards have to be more than 10 and things like that mm. but it's a really good recognition yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I, I'm sure we're gonna hear more about this <laughs> yes and, but actually if you said it's only like 30 months on the lease but the bubbles are so creamy and so well integrated in the body it's um Beautiful, beautiful yes because you have to think that here um we don't add yeast again so it's it's just the end of the of the first fermentation mm -hmm. wow and it's a brut nature but it it doesn't dry your mouth out it's beautifully it has a natural because richness. it has a lot the the variety it's really fruity no and yeah. and it it gives you lots of volume, no, and and it makes it. Um, it it's a really gastronomic uh, cava for me. Uh, um, and, it's a mm. and can you t talk a little bit about uh, the name Panza Blanca and where does it come from? Because I think uh, most most of the sommeliers uh, or most of the people in the wine world know Oric Sarello. 